The 1998 to 1999 college football season was the first season in which the BCS was implemented, and right off the bat there was already some controversy. Not with the national championship, as it pitted number one 13 0 SEC champion Tennessee and number two 11 1 ACC champion Florida State, but with the other bowl selections, as number three 11 1 Big 12 runner up Kansas State was passed over in favor of number four 11 1 Big 10 co champion Ohio State and a two loss Florida team that was ranked number eight. In the end, Tennessee defeated Florida State 23 16 in the national championship, and Ohio State and Florida would both win their bowl game, but Kansas State would lose to an unranked Purdue in the Alamo Bowl. But what if the college football postseason had existed as it does today, and the top four teams had a shot at the national championship through a playoff? We start things off in the Cotton Bowl Classic between number one undefeated Tennessee and number four 11-1 Ohio State. The scoring starts early in the first as Ohio State's Joe Germain finds David Boston deep over the middle who is able to outrun two Tennessee defenders for the long touchdown. They would then tack on this field goal later in the first. Tennessee would come storming back early in the second, as T. Martin is able to find Kevin Taylor for a 17-yard touchdown. They would then take the lead late in the third, as T. Martin is able to avoid pressure and then see nothing but open space as he scrambled in for the touchdown. They would then extend that lead to seven early in the fourth with this field goal. They would then clinch the game late in the fourth as T. Martin finds Jeremy Copeland over the middle for the score. Tennessee wins it, 24-10, to advance in the national championship. We now move over to the Sugar Bowl, between number 2 ACC champion Florida State and the Big 12 runner-up, number 3 Kansas State. Florida State starts the scoring early in the first with his field goal. They would then extend that lead late in the first as Dan Kendra finds the wide-open Snoop Minnis, who is able to slip by several Kansas State defenders to get in for the score. They would then kick another field goal early in the second. Not long after, Dan Kendra would once again find Snoop Minnis for a score, and the score never got close, as Florida State rolls over Kansas State, 47-6. And that brings us to the national championship, where the same two teams remain, number one Tennessee and number two Florida State. And that means the same result occurs, the number one Tennessee defeats number two Florida State, 23-16.